Hello, and we are back. So, we've seen what's inside the Star Wars Shatterpoint core set, but now it's time to take a look at some of the expansions that you can get. And the first one we're going to be looking at is Twice the Pride pack. This is Count Dooku and uh, two Magna Guards and Jango Fett. So, for those of you who don't know, Star Wars Shatterpoint is a two-player skirmish tabletop game where you take hold of a galactic villain or a hero and then a small squad of supporting uh, soldiers or characters that you then roll dice against each other and go for, go for the win. It is just been released and everyone is kind of buzzing about it so I'm really happy that Vaughn at TT Workshop was able to get hold of this for me because yeah uh, I think they're selling out pretty fast in most places. However, we've done the core set and we've had a look at the 16 odd minis that you get in there in the terrain. Now we're going to have a look at what's inside the Twice the Pride pack. So, we know that you end up with uh, these particular minis, which is obviously Dooku, Django, and then two of the Magna Gods. So you get uh, three unit stat cards, three stance cards, three order cards, along with the four minis. Obviously, it's by Atomic Mass Transmissions and... Yeah, I'm just super stoked to be able to get hold of it. Uh, those of you in the local Cornwall area, like we are down here, I believe that Tags are holding a demo night. So Tags is a local gaming group, and they are going to be holding a demo night for it down at Tabletop Workshop at the Old Bakery uh, in Truro. And I'll put a link to uh, TT Workshop's description in... At least, <laughs> a link to their website in the description below. I cannot talk today. So... Let's have a look. So you get a lot less in them than you do in the core set, obviously, because you're paying a lot less for them. Let's start with what you get on the paperwork. So you get a small credit section about uh, Asmodi and the playtesters on there. Lovely bit of artwork for the minis that are inside there. And they're the ones that people have painted the, uh, up with the company, I assume. A lot of NMM on there. It's a non-metallic metal painting. Um, yeah, and if you need to get an assembly guide, you can follow this QR code, which is really handy because it saves them having to print paper and stuff, and you can just go straight to their website, where if you play games like Marvel Crisis Protocol or if you play Legion, you're going to end up being able... Well, you will already know even that the website is fantastic for errata, so if something needs nerfing, it will be nerfed on there and it will release. If something needs boosting up, it will also happen on there. And they put out loads of publications to keep their games alive and keep them moving and to not make certain expansion packs and units like just completely useless. So that's really awesome uh, that they do that and you can follow the QR code there to get to them. Ooh, minis first or cards first? Let's do the minis first because we did the uh, cards first last time. So let's have a look. At what's inside. Once more, we've got those ginormous bases in there, which absolutely fine with that. Something very fun to paint. And again, if you didn't see the core unboxing video, then that's a Legion base for a standard miniature or standard trooper. That's your standard size for Shatterpoint, which is really, really cool. The bases, once more, they have all of these different types. So you've got like damaged metalwork with blast marks and scuffs. You've got a mix of the two with like natural ground or concrete ground and um, some metal work, also plating, and then the bigger plating with a little bit of a uh, uneven terrain bit there as well. So very cool. Uh, what else do we get? So inside here we have Dooku, Django, and the two Magna Guards. And I showed off before that um, Maul had this amazing texture to his head they've really gone in with the details and they have uh made it so that you don't have to freehand a lot of the detailing that's there because they're bigger minis they can get like all those sif tattoos to be like in the head which is freaking cool and you can see with things like this bit which i was trying to find for you uh let's get where is either the magna god or dooku there's dooku's head so dooku's head there uh, you don't see on the camera. We're going to go to the one at the top. Dooku's head is quite literally so incredibly detailed. All of those beard lines, the eyes, the nose. Really, really well done. And same with like the Magna Guard heads that are here. All of those details, even right into the eyes. It's really, really cool. It's really well done. Very, very impressed with the quality of these minis. Like if you look at Django's. Uh, blaster arms, which are going to be over here. 
all of the details to like his gauntlets and his blasters and his armor. Very impressive work from Atomic Mass Transmissions. But that's the minis. A lot less in this particular one right here. I'm gonna put those off to this side actually and not on my floor. And let's have a look at the cards that you get inside. It doesn't seem like there's gonna be much in the way of like upgrades or expansions, like getting certain expansions for cards to use with other characters. I think this is gonna be a simple, you know, what you get in the box is that particular unit. And I think that's that's how it's gonna be. So let's look at the big ones first, why not? So we saw with the core set that they have a dual side of some of them as well, uh, but let's have a look. So this is his character board. Count Dooku, Separatist Leader. So all of his abilities on there, things like Brave But Foolish, Twice the Pride, Double the Fall, Surely You Can Do Better, and Leader of the Separatist Army. Django Fett's one, you've got the Magna Guard. So I should point out as well, on the back of all of these, there is some more artwork as well. So Django Fett's one is there, and you've got his health and his... Uh, actually, I'm not sure what those are yet. I will have to um, read the rulebook and get back to you. But then you've got like a lovely bit of large art on the other side. Same with Dooku. Magna Guards. Put these down in the center so you guys can see them. Or oh, actually, I wonder. I can put them here and do this. Let's have a look. So, there we go, we'll do that. So the Magna, Guard, car, uh, Magna Guards down there in the corner. Got another Magna Guard just there. We've got Django Fett, Loka Nagrod. Ooh, I've got a different language on these. Interesting. Okay. I wonder why that is. I don't know if that's a mistake in the box or if that is something I'm supposed to have. Let's have a look, see if we can match them up. So, they look the same. I'm assuming uh, Loka Nagrod is a uh, bounty hunter. Yeah, the card's the same except for it's in a different language. So, very, very interesting as to why I have another one in there. Cool, I'm okay with that though. Still nice to have the art, maybe I'll frame the ones there. So I guess we'll do that and we'll have them into uh, Two shots. I'll have to ever delve into um, atomic mass transmissions and see if that's the thing that they were supposed to do or not. Same with um, Count Dooku, Separatist Leader. We've got one in English and one in a different language. I don't know what it is. That has really thrown me. <laughs> so Magna Guards. I've got one in German for Boba Fett as well. Okay, so let's have a look at them all. I wonder if this is um, just an inclusion thing that they're doing, because that's three so far for Fett and for Dooku. Same with the Magna, four for Fett. Four for Dooku, four for the Magna Guards, five for Fett, five for, the, for Dooku, and yeah, I guess that they're giving you um, extra cards so that you can play with friends and share it with people from different countries, backgrounds, and wherever, you know, it's gonna make it easier for them if they can read it in their own language. That's pretty awesome if that's what they've been including. You'd expect a company to only release it in that particular region for that, but that's cool, it's so inclusive down in one box alone. So that's the cards, you get a fair amount of card for your money. Let's have a look at these ones, and I'm gonna assume that we get the same thing here where we have multiple um, languages. So let's have a look. So they're just art cards by the look of it. That is in English with his two forms on either side. So you've got Force Mastery on one side and then you've got uh, Form 2 Makashi. Makashi, I'm not sure how to say that. Uh, let's have a look. We've got Resourceful Gunslinger for uh, Django Fett, and we've got defensive programs for the Magna Guard. Another art card, another art card, another art card. Yeah, and then we're back into the different languages again. But, I mean, that's still pretty self-explanatory. 
There you go. So there's a lot of cards there that I don't necessarily need or, um, you know, I'm not necessarily going to want to store those. So I think that um, unless I've got somebody who is uh, needing one of these translation cards, then maybe I'll be able to include them in a game, which would be awesome. But I think I'll have to just keep those bits at home. And anytime I go down to the club or anytime that I'm playing and moving about with it, like I don't need those, I probably won't take those with me. But it is a hefty stack of cards to say that you get all of those different languages in there. So if anybody knows, let me know if it's uh, a mistake or if that is just them really being just an awesome company and trying to include so many different people. Uh, and maybe they don't have to reprint them in different languages. They can just send them out with those five. It's very cool. But we'll close that stream down here. Thank you again for tuning in. And uh, I'll be back in a couple of minutes to do the hello there pack. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, Go check out the core unboxing. We're also going to be uploading the Hello There pack, which is the OB1 and the 212 one. But until then, see you around.